What's up, Cloud Clan? I'm Cloud, and welcome to part 7 of Pokemon Ethereal Gates. In the last episode, we defeated Regina picking up our first badge. We also added a couple of new members to the team on this route that we're in right now. So, in the last episode, I saw, or I showed you guys that we encountered this shiny Avench at the end of episode 5 in the grinding, I think. I think. And also, if you guys were wondering, the shiny chance in this game is 1 in 1024, I think. 1 in 1000 something. But, we've got Tackle, Gust, Quick Attack, and Sand Attack on Crimson. A uh, new one that we caught, the Fairy-type Leafa the Autumn. Level 9, holding the Lumberry, and it actually has the Harvest ability, which is awesome. Disarming Voice, Pound, Charm, and Growl is its moveset right now. Then we have Tumble the Barrel Bill, level 15, with Stomp, Rock Smash, Double Kick, and Taunt. Then we got Hollow the Ear, level 15, with Echoed Voice, Scratch Charm, and Sand Attack. Next up is Friend the Fernling, level 15, hold the Miracle Seed, with Razor Leaf, Peck, Pound, and Leer. Then we got Moss, and another one that we caught in the last episode. Finally, it's one of my personal favorites that they showed before the game actually, or the demo actually released. And he's a Rock and Grass type. I decided not to give him a nickname because I just love the nickname of him and his evolution. I don't know what his evolution looks like, but I do know the name. I'm not going to spoil that though for any of you who don't know. But he's got solid rock ability, so it reduces damage from super effective attacks. I'm kind of hoping that he carries that over to his evolution. But he's got tackle, harden, and block. That is what we're rocking with right now. Still, I'm not too, too happy about having so many uh, typings that are the same because we've got Mawson's rock and grass, which pair pairs up with Fern, which is grass and flying, which pairs up with Crimson, which is flying and normal, which pairs up with Hollow, which is normal, and Tumble is normal, and we got Leafa that's fairy. So it's like five of them connect in some way, which I'm not a fan of, but we're gonna get, we'll go ahead and battle this girl. I like shorts that are comfy and easy to wear. Of course, you can't have a Pokemon game without someone that says that. The Camper Brianna says that he which I'm okay with, I suppose. Probably the last episode I'm recording today because I've recorded like seven of these with a like an hour of grinding. So I'm getting, I mean, my eyes are, have been tired ever since I started recording it too. Wow, that did a lot of damage. I mean, you're three levels above, so kind of expected. Plus it's stab. But for the tackle, I, I'm fine. You just keep going for tackles. Just keep doing that. And we'll get a crit right here. Just kidding, we don't. Can we get a crit on this one though? Not the Razor Leaf. No, Mawson, come on, Mawson. Rip. All right. How much more experience do you have until... Oh, you're close. Because you're close to level 16, and usually starters evolve at level 16. So, so, friend, do you want to evolve? Do you want to evolve? There's a 16. Do you want to evolve? <gasps> oh my goodness. I haven't seen what his evolution looks like. I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my gosh! That looks awesome! Volpent! Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at it. Okay, I'm taking a look at you right now. Oh my goodness, you look amazing. Oh my goodness, you look amazing. Okay, still got overgrow. You're still speedy. Um You're you're pretty you're pretty balanced right now. Let's see. So basically basically anything in the 30s is what is actually really, really good for us right now. So, your attack, your speed, your speed, your special defense is pretty good too, wow. And your speed is ridiculous! Alright, so, you know what, I'm gonna lead off with a uh, friend right now because I wanna see that back sprite, you know what I'm saying? You know. Okay, so let's just go over this way, um, let's see, are you a trainer? You are a trainer! My Pokemon are really strong, so good luck defeating me! Alright, well, you're gonna see this little guy named Friend. This little guy named Friend is gonna destroy your Avench. 
You got you've got type advantage, but that doesn't matter. Yo, look at it! Oh my gosh. Gust, we'll take that fine. We'll take it. Wow. Woo! I got chills this thing. This thing's gonna be chills. Looks awesome. Okay, we can switch it out now. You got another Avenge? Well, let's go ahead and go into Leafa. Oh man, I'm so excited about having this thing. Oh! Alright. Leafa, let's go for the Disarming Voice. Let's take out this Avenge. Let's go, let's go. Remember, remember, you're floating off the ground. Ground attacks are just like... What's, what's ground attack? What's that? I'm floating in the air. I mean, I'm not a flying type, but I'm floating. So I'm just gonna hit all my disarming voices because, uh... I'm not on the ground. Sand doesn't hurt my eyes. It's just kinda, kinda there. It's kinda like the wind. It's just, just there. So, uh... Pretty, uh, pretty happy with friend right now. Let's go ahead and switch you around. Leave it back out front. Let's see what's down here. There's an item probably hidden right here. Nope, what about right here? Nope, but there's an item right here. I need to use Repel. We're gonna run into another Al Albaloo. Let's just run away. Why is it an, uh, a Repel after we get out of this grass? Oh, there's a Super Repel! Any, any hidden items? No, okay, let's see if I can get back through. Alright, we made it through. Sweet. I'll use a repel, I guess right here. I'll use a regular repel. We've got three. Okay, let's go. What is this place? Just, uh... Make an effort to talk to everyone you meet during your journey. Chances are they have useful things to tell you, that's true. Shroud's got rugged paths, but also a beach. It's a great place for diverse battling. Yeah, hey, you got a good point there, sir. Look how happy he looks. He sends out his own Mostin. Let's go with Leafa. Ooh, you're kind of hurting, aren't you? Let's go for disarming voice. That he takes very, very well. Uh, let's just, let's just go for disarming voices, I guess. There's a crit! That's what I'm talking about, Leafa. That is what I'm talking about. I love the- Just, there's so many Pokemon in this game that I'm just like, I love the design. Like, they're so good. They're so good. I can't wait for the next, uh, the next update after this. The, the demo only goes up to the second gym right now. So I'm just I'm I really I'm really excited to see uh, where they go with this because it's already fantastic. They did a great job. All right, Xavier, let's uh, see if we can. I know double kick's not gonna do as much as it should because we miss. <laughs> All right, let's try again. Tumble. You're, you're just tumbling down the hill. That's why you keep missing your kicks. You can't kick something while you're tumbling down a hill. There you go! We still take out the Mostin, though. Alright. You go in places, kid. Oh, thanks, man. Alright, what's down here? Uh... Hmm. Now, is this gonna be an item, or is this gonna be a Barkush? It's gotta be a Barkush. We're just gonna run away from you. I don't want to battle right now. More than likely, these two girls over here want to battle me. Well, that one of them might be a boy. Ah, I'm glad that they made it so it says that. Okay, I guess we'll talk to you. Do you want to build a sandcastle? You're gonna make a Frozen, um, reference, aren't you, after we're done battling? Yep, I can feel it. Oh shoot, I forgot! You have soundproof. <laughs> I'm gonna switch. 
Let's go into... I want to go into Crimson because I want to see if Crimson will evolve at 16. So, I mean, Starter Birds this is probably... This is technically... Yeah, this is the Starter Bird. Uh, they evolve pretty early, right? Is 18. I know Pidgeotto evolves at 18. I can't remember what level Starly evolves. Starly evolves, I think, 14? So... This thing might evolve at 16. I'm, 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 that's what I'm, that's what I'm going for. I want it to evolve at 16. Now, I don't know. I'm kind of hoping this thing gets a secondary typing that's not normal. What if it gets like, okay, the normal one's uh, yellow. What if it becomes electric flying? That would be nice. Even fire. I, I, I can see electric more than fire, but electric flying would be nice. It'd be really, really nice. Alright, Crimson, you can take down this Albaloo, can't you? You can take it. Oh, wow! You can take it! You can take it to the bank, deposit it, and have extra left over. Nice job. Okay, so those two... Is what's this? Nothing is just little seashells that are there for decoration. Yep. All right. Oh, whoa. Oh. There might be a hidden item on that rock down there. No? What is this here for? What is this here for? Just 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 to look just just for looks okay. Cuz hopefully this should be the town, right? This should be the town up here. It's this. I love this. I love this song. I love listening to the sounds of the birds chirping in the gates. Me too! I love it. I, I really do love this uh, music here. So I'm just gonna chill here for a second. Uh, just kind of take a look. Look at this thing. This thing's awesome. Volpant. Volpant. Alright, let's go. Excuse me! Hi, I'm sorry. I'm the nurse over at the Pokemon Center here in Auklet Town. I couldn't help but notice you you come into I couldn't help but notice you come into town. Normally, I don't bother people outside my workplace, but something terrible has happened. A young girl has been kidnapped. As a youngster yourself, I would ask that you take caution as well. What? You're offering to help? How incredibly heroic of you! I wish I could help you, but I've got duties to attend at the Pokemon Center. I'm sure that some of the townspeople can help fill it you in on the situation. Good luck. Wow. It is pretty, uh, it's pretty foggy here, so... I mean, if you wanted to, if a, if a child was to be kidnapped, you could do it not too... I mean, it could be fairly easy if it's super foggy. Auklet is a really low-key town. Our only real characteristic is our lighthouse, which allows boats to come through despite the constant fog. Now, I, I think Ethereal Gates, they posted on their Twitter that you need to save around the lighthouse a lot. Here's an interesting fact for you, trainer. A Pokemon can still use an HM even when it has fainted. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to double check that I am recording. Yes, we are. Okay, so I'm going to save right now. Alright, so let's talk to you. It's terribly tragic what happened to that little girl. I hope she's okay. Okay, I'm not gonna go that way yet. Let's go in here. Maybe not. <laughs> Just run to the side of the house. Normally, I go out to Route 3 to catch some Pokemon, but with the kidnapping, with the kidnapping, I don't want my kids out of my sight. Don't blame you. My sister likes coffee more, but I'm a fan of cotton candy. I like drinking coffee. Daddy says I'm too young for caffeine, so I drink decaf. Okay, so if you guys aren't aware for this reference here, they the Ethereal Gates team was holding a stream on Twitch. Uh, I, I can't remember how long, maybe a week or two ago, but they made different barrel brills uh, for the shiny variations, and they made they made several different ones, and they had the chat vote on the straw poll which one that they liked the most for the shiny. And then after that, they took the top three from that and then had those voted for. And there was one that was like pink and I think light blue, which was the cotton candy one. 
the coffee one, which is darker, it also had the nickname Black Sheep. And then there was one that kind of looked like a uh, go goat or um, I can't remember his first his first evolution. Skiddo. Uh, it had like a green back and a white uh, face and feet. But the the two, the two fan favorites were the the black sheep, the the coffee black sheep, and the cotton candy one. That's what the reference there is, which I think is really cool that they put that in there. And, uh, let's see what else we got here. These guys, I'm sorry, we don't want to anyone, we don't want anyone leaving Auckland Town just yet. At least not until the mystery gets solved. I'm sorry, we don't want, okay, you say the exact same thing. I bet it's those guys that had the, uh, the hoods that we saw in the forest. I feel like that's the evil team still. Whenever I come here, I always get carried away and bites far too much. A Great Ball has a much higher chance of catching a Pokemon than a regular Pokeball. Hopefully now I can catch rarer Pokemon. My son's Pokemon evolved and has a lot of HP now. I think it would be better... Didn't... I think it was someone that said that already. Okay, so we're now... We now have 4,488, so that's a little bit better. I'm gonna buy a few Super Potions. Okay, they're not cheap. Let's buy three. And I'm gonna buy a few Great Balls. Buy three of those as well. And how are we? Hmm. I, I'll just buy another repel because I'm sure we'll need it. All right, cool. It's the ghost that did it. The ghost that haunts the library. Oh boy. I'm guessing that's right there. Okay, yes. I would not doubt that there's a ghost in this town. I wish there was something I could do to help. The poor girl. Her family lives in the next house over. Maybe they have information. And just think, today would have been such a good day for a Pokemon trade. Oh, maybe she'll trade us something after we get this mystery solved. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't talk right now. That's her mom. It's supposed to be your dad. Yes, yes, it's our daughter who is missing. I blame myself. I spend too much time over by the lighthouse I own. I wish I knew how I could help the investigation. Okay, so that didn't help us too much. Is there anything around the house that can help? I'm not seeing anything. It's not root through another person's fridge. Alright, so there's nothing really in here. Other than the fact that- wait, 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 wait. Anything with the table? Looks like, that. Looks like there was kind of something underneath it, but I guess it's just the, uh, reflection. The fog here is so thick, that's why over there we have the lighthouse. Is it over here? Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna go that way yet. No item. I'm always searching for hidden items. I guess we can go in the library. I'm gonna save again. Oh, we can't. The door to the library is locked. Public buildings must be on lockdown. I mean, the Pokemon Mart's public, right? Okay, so I think now let's go down on, on these docks. Yep, this here's my boat. Ain't she a beaut? Uh, I guess. Working on the dock isn't that bad of a job with thick auklet fog. He just almost rhymed. <laughs> it sounded like it. We stay pretty cool throughout the day. Oh, out there, beyond the sea, lie many other lands with many different kinds of Pokemon. I want to travel to those places one day. Okay, so, I'm going to go to the lighthouse now. I don't think I need to heal. I'm going to save again. I did say save frequently through here because it's probably still a little buggy. Wait, can we catch Pokemon here? Oh, we can. Oh, there's squeakers here. Not that I, I don't really, I'm not too keen on catching a squeaker. It is another normal type that we'd have. Okay, some bu- some- why did I say- why did I gonna say bubblu? Alabalu. Alright, so let's go ahead and just go in the lighthouse. Oh, it's locked. Oh! 
perhaps someone has a key. I bet I know who has the key. The guy who owns it. She always loved going to the top of my lighthouse and looking out above the fog. I've locked it for now, but if you think it'll help with the investigation, here's a spare key. There we go. We got the spare key. I don't know, I feel like I'm not going to go into the lighthouse in this episode because we're already over 20 minutes and I kind of just want to get Crimson to level 16 to see if she'll evolve. And if not, then I guess we'll just call it a day. Alright, good damage, good damage. Hopefully we don't have to take out too many Pokemon this way. Alright, how much are we going to get? 91, okay, so maybe one more... One or two more battles and we'll be good. Suzumi! This is an electric type. I think it's... Is it electric normal? Why are there so many normal types? Okay, that does nothing. I'm gonna go for a uh, quick attack. Okay. Right, can we catch the Zoomy? I kind of I I I want I already know what I want to name it. It's reference to a guy, I think. Pretty sure. All right, you are. Oh, you're just pure electric. You're not normal. Okay, cool. So Zoomy can run up to speeds around 30 miles per hour, but they prefer to hop about. They've got very powerful legs. Okay, so <laughs> I'm calling you. Since your name is Zuzumi, I'm gonna call you Zazuma. <laughs> Uh, if you're, if you're kind of like a more of a veteran to RuneScape, you know who Zezima is. Even if you, even if, I would say even if you play it, like, somewhat a lot, I don't know, you probably know who he is. See how the top, the top, top, top of the top, top, on the high scores for quite some time. Like I'd say in, uh, RuneScape's prime time. gonna get us a 16. Shoot! Ah, oh, I should have caught this one named it Zezima. Ah! Oh well. Well, I'm gonna switch. Just because I'm sure switch training will get hit, get her that one more level she needs. You're gonna go for the growl. I'm curious what else you can get. I'm sure uh, if you can get Thunder Wave, I might use you. We haven't seen one, though. Over the tackle. That doesn't do much at all. We might just go sit here, just go chill. Mawson, we need to get a crit, buddy. Okay? We just need to get a crit and take out this Zuzumi. Mawson! There's a Thunder Shock. I thought I was gonna get the paralysis there for a second. All right, this last one's gonna be a crit. Because if it's not, we 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 don't take you out. We get paralyzed from the static. No, oh, we're fully paralyzed. Look at that. I'm trying to end the episode off shortly, and we're getting uh getting hacks. All right. Suzumi goes down. We'll see if Crimson evolves. Please evolve. I did all that for nothing. Uh, <laughs> good time. Okay, we'll go heal. Check out Suzumi. And end it off. Suzumi, I like Suzumi. Suzumi's got a good design. Oh, I mean, I say that for every Pokemon here. <laughs> Uh, I do, I kind of want to work Zuzumi into the team just because it's a type we don't have. I'd have to get rid of one of the normal types, but I like them both a lot. You're level 10, you've got static. You have the gentle nature, which increases special defense, it looks like, and decreases defense. Thundershot, growl, tail whip, and quick attack, so not too bad. 
But I'm gonna go ahead and end it off here. If you enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon Ethereal Gates, please remember to leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe if you haven't already to become part of the Cloud Clan. That'd be greatly appreciated, and I will see you next time.